this episode, we visit the rustic Dutch idyll of Jan Steen's skittle players outside an inn with National Gallery curator Betsy Wiseman. Betsy, I was really keen to pick this because some of the other pictures that I've been considering are quite over the top, back and alien, you know, full of <laughs> revelry. But here, there's something which I find really delightful because it feels so peaceful. The inn is in the background in mm -hmm. amongst the trees. Um, there's a horse which is stopped off. Presumably, that's the equivalent of an Uber today. So I want to stop off having exactly. a quick drink. <laughs> And then people are playing skittles in the foreground and there's this group of people who are just sitting, drinking, chatting to the left. Yeah, having a lovely picnic. Yeah. And I, to me that is um, so expressive of those 17th century simple pleasures of everyday life. Do we, do we have much sense, I mean presumably they're drinking beer, aren't they? Well they might be, um, although some of those, you see the people sitting in the foreground, there's a white uh, earthenware jug, and those were typically used for wine. So it could be either wine or beer. If that's wine, her, the glass she is making is, I mean, a facetious point, but it's quite big if that's yeah, a glass of wine. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about the artist who made it? Because Jan Stein, I know him for quite rumbustious scenes of basically mayhem occurring outside inns. Exactly. Stain did have a reputation for being a big drinker and um, you know a lot of the mythologies that grew up around the artist centered on that that you know here was a man whose life was in utter disarray all of his paintings were just about drinking and he himself was an absolute sot and he died uh, for our age quite young at the age of 53. Because you do often in his paintings see his own self-portrait and he's he's quite frequently guffawing, he yeah. looks like the life and soul of the party, but you can imagine that someone who lives that hard might die relatively young. <laughs> I do think he was, um, he was a man who enjoyed life. Why do you think he's possibly fallen into, outside of the Netherlands, some neglect? I think part of it has to do with that aspect of humour, that people just don't take him seriously. Um, and in fact, alongside, you know, those very robust paintings, he does very delicate landscapes like this, and in fact he started out painting landscapes. I mean, some of the details, you, you tell me which ones you particularly like, but seeing that sunlight just gild the edges of the wooden fence on the other side, which is on shadow on this side, and then just highlighted there, I think is really beautiful. That is absolutely one of my favourite details, and also just the little slivers of sunlight peeking through between the cracks in the board and the fence beyond. I mean, such delicacy that, um, you know, that's really counter to our our impression of Jan Steen. And you're absolutely right, he's such a versatile and sophisticated artist that I think we deserve to give him a little more credit and look a little more closely at him. 